Welcome to Learning Radius. Welcome to Learning Radius Current Affairs 2020-21. In this video, we'll be discussing another 10 topics related to science and technology. And the 10 topics of discussions are the aerial space mission, Sentinel-6 satellite, EVAC report, IVAC report, SpaceX Crew Dragon capsule, mRNA vaccine, 30 meter telescope TMT, EOS-01, Fast radio burst detected in the Milky Way for the first time. Chapare virus neutralizing antibodies. The first topic of discussion is the aerial space mission. The European Space Agency has formally adopted Ariel, the explorer that will study the natural formation and evolution of exoplanet. So that's a discussion about the European Space Agency has formally adopted Ariel, the explorer that will study the nature, formation and evolution of exoplanet. As of now, the existence of more than 4,000 exoplanets is considered confirmed, while there are thousands of other candidate exoplanets that need further observation to say for certain if they are exoplanets. Proxima Centauri b is the closest exoplanet to Earth and is 4 light years away and inhabits the habitable zone of its star, which means that it could possibly have liquid water on its surface. And what is exoplanets? Planets that lie outside of the solar system and orbit around stars other than the sun are called the exoplanets or extrasolar planet. So exoplanets that lie outside of the solar system and orbits around stars other than the sun are called exoplanets or ex extrasolar planets. Exoplanets are not easy to detect since they are much less brighter than the stars. They orbit and hence it is difficult to see them directly using telescope. So that is about um, exoplanet at the same time Proxima Century B is the closest exoplanet to Earth and is four light years away and inhabits the habitable zone of its stars, which means that it could possibly have liquid water on its surface. So that's the discussion about the aerial space mission right from European Space Agency. Next topic of discussion is uh, Sentinel-6 satellite. The Copernicus Sentinel-6 Michael Freilich satellite designed to monitor oceans was launched from the Vandenberg Air Force, Air Force Base in California aboard a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket on November 21. That's the discussion about. So the Copernicus Sentinel-6 Michael Freilich satellite designed to monitor oceans was launched from the Vandenberg Air Force Base in California aboard a SpaceX Falcon, R, Falcon 9 rocket on November 21. This is a part of the NEST mission dedicated to measuring changes in the global sea level. Other satellites that have been launched since 1992 to track changes in the oceans on a global scale include the TOPEX, Poseidon, Jason-1 and OSTN Jason-2 among others. The Sentinel-6 Michael Frilich satellites has been named after Dr. Michael Frilich, who was the director of NASA Earth Science Division from 2006 to 2019 and passed away in August this year. So that's a discussion about Sentinel-6 satellites, Sentinel-6 Michael Freilich satellite has been named after Dr. Michael Freilich, who was the director of NASA's Earth Science Division from 2006 to 2019. According to NASA, the satellites will ensure the continuity of sea level observation into the fourth decade and will provide measurements of global sea level rise. It will also help scientists measure the sea surface height and also measure water vapor along this path, uh, water vapor along this path and find its position using GPS and uh, ground-based uh, lasers. The data it collects will support operational oceanography by providing improved forecast of ocean currents, wind and wave condition. It will allow improvements in both short-term forecasting for weather predictions in the two to four weeks range and long-term forecasting, for instance, for seasonal conditions like El Nino and La Nino. Jason Continuity of Service, Jason CS Mission, what is it about? The Jason Continuity of Service, Jason, uh, CS mission is designed to measure the height of the ocean, which is a key component in understanding how the Earth's climate is changing. So that is about Jason CS. So Jason continuity of service, Jason CS mission is designed to measure the height of the ocean, which is a key component in understanding how the Earth's climate is changing. The spacecraft consists of two satellites, one of them launched on Saturday and the other called the Sentinel-6B to be launched in 2025. So that was a discussion in the news. It has been developed jointly by the European Space Agency, NASA, European Organization for Exploration of Meteorological Satellite, the USA's National 
Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration (NOAA) and the European Union with the contribution from France National Center for Space Studies. So that's about Jason continuity of surveys, Jason CS mission. It is to measure the height of the ocean, which is a key component in understanding how the Earth's climate is changing. And the spacecraft consists of two satellites, and uh, it has been developed jointly by the European Space Agency, NASA, European Organization for the Exploration of Meteorological Satellite, uh, UMUSTAS, the USA's National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, NOAA, and the European Union with contribution from France National Center for Space Studies. So that's about the Sentinel-6 satellite. And next topic is IVAC report. The International Vaccine Access Center releases pneumonia and uh, diarrhea progress report annually. The report states that although there was progress in India in 2019, the pandemic threatens this hard-won gains due to disruption of routine health services like immunization and access to medical oxygen, which is used to treat both pneumonia and COVID-19 patients. The report tracks progress by analyzing 10 indicators from the latest available data on how countries are delivering key interventions, including breastfeeding, immunization, care seeking, and antibiotics, oral rehydration solution, and zinc supplementation shown to prevent pneumonia and uh, diarrhea deaths. An estimated uh, 233,240 Indian diarrhea under five died due to pneumonia and diarrhea each year, 640 children per day, according to the report. So that is the significance of IVSC report. So that's about International Vaccine Access Center releases a pneumonia and diarrhea report annually and I convey about the report as such. Next is a SpaceX Crew Dragon capsule. NASA's first commercial human spacecraft system in history. A crew of four astronauts is now en route to International Space Station on a 27-hour flight on board SpaceX Crew Dragon spacecraft called the Russell Lines. The mission was to launch on 14th November 2020 initially, but was impeded by unfavorable uh, weather condition. Crew 1 is the first operational flight of the SpaceX Crew Dragon spacecraft on a Falcon, Falcon 9 rocket to the ISS and is also the first of the three such flights scheduled over the course of 2020-2021. So that's about the SpaceX Crew Dragon capsule, NASA's first commercial human spacecraft system in history. A crew of four astronauts is now en route to the International Space Station on a 27-hour flight on board SpaceX Crew Dragon spacecraft called Resilience. Now, what is Crew-1 mission? It is the first of six crewed mission that NASA and SpaceX will operate as a part of the commercial crew program, whose objective is to make access to space easier in terms of its cost so that cargo and crew can be easily transported to and from the ISS, enabling greater scientific research. The program is a way to reduce the cost of going to space for agencies such as NASA and also make it possible for any individual to buy a ticket on a commercial rocket. Therefore, the launch is being seen as the beginning of a new era in space travel. So that's about Crew-1 mission. It is the first of six crew mission that NASA and SpaceX will operate as a part of the commercial crew program, whose objective is to make access to space easier in terms of its cost so that cargo and crew can be easily transported to and from the International Space Station, enabling greater scientific research. Next topic of discussion is mRNA vaccine. Pfizer and BioNTech SE announced that their experimental vaccine made through the same mRNA technology has shown more than 90% efficiency in stopping SARS-CoV-2 infection. The mRNA vaccine utilizes a unique process of making the body produce specific viral protein itself. They work by using mRNA or messenger RNA, which is a molecule that essentially put DNA instruction into action. Inside a cell, mRNA is used as a template to build a protein. The scientists produce a synthetic version of mRNA and, and use it as a template to build a protein that is exactly similar to the one produced by the natural virus. The advantage is that such synthetic protein are solitary and lack the ability to assemble and form a virus. The host immune system is to detect this as natural viral protein and it starts to mount a robust def defensive response. So here mRNA vaccine, uh, Pfizer and uh, BioNTech announced that their experimental vaccine made through the same mRNA technology has shown more than 90% uh, efficiency. The mRNA vaccine utilizes a unique process of making the body produce specific viral protein itself. They work by using mRNA or messenger RNA which is the molecule that essentially put DNA instruction into action. 
Next topic of discussion is 30 meter telescope TMT. Indian astronomers collaborated with Nobel laureate on 30 meter telescope project. 2020 physics Nobel laureate Professor Andrea Gus had worked closely with Indian astronomers on the design of back end instruments. The 30 meter telescope project is an international partnership between Caltech Universities of California, Canada, Japan, China, and India through the Department of Science and Technology and Department of Atomic Energy. So that's about the 30 meter telescope. Next is EIS 01. India sent its first space mission in almost a year with the launch of EIS 01 and Earth Observation Satellite. That is what called the EIS Earth Observation Satellite. This afternoon, and EIS 01, along with nine satellites from foreign countries, was launched by a PSLV rocket. This ISRO first mission since the launch of uh, Resat 2 bri another Earth observation satellite is similar to EOS-01. ISRO had also sent communication satellite GSAT-13 in space in January 2020, but that was done using an Ariane rocket launcher from French Guiana. So that is about Earth observation satellite. India sent its first space mission in almost a year with the launch of uh, Earth observation satellite EOS-01 EOS along with nine satellites from foreign countries was launched by a PSLV rocket. This is ISRO's first mission since the launch of uh, Resat 2 br one and another Earth observation satellite similar to EOS-01. EOS-01 is nothing but another radar imaging satellite. So what is EOS or what is uh, Earth observation satellite? Earth observation satellite is nothing but another radar imaging satellite like Resat that will work together with uh, Resat 2 b and Resat 2 b r one launched last year. Earth Observation Satellite 01 was initially named Resat 2B R2 and was supposed to be the third of the three spacecraft constellation, three spacecraft constellation aimed at providing all weather round day clock service for high resolution images. So, what is EOS 01 is nothing but another radar imaging satellite that will work together with Resat 2B and Resat 2B R1 launched last year. Next topic of discussion is fast radio burst detected in the Milky Way for the first time. Intense pulse of radio waves known as fast radio bursts, that is FRB, have been found in the Milky Way for the first time. Scientists have traced this outburst back to a rare kind of uh, dead stars known as a magnet star, the strongest magnet in the universe for the first time. A magnetor is a type of neutron star whose magnetic fields are so strong they squish atoms into pencil like shapes. So, that is about the fast radio burst detected in the Milky Way for the first time. So, intense pulse of radio waves known as uh, fast radio bursts have been found in the Milky Way for the first time. Scientists have traced this outburst back to a rare kind of dead star known as a magnetor, the strongest magnet in the universe for the first time. A magnetor is a type of neutron star whose magnetic fields are so strong. They squish atom into pencil-like shapes. Significance of this discovery is the FRB. FRB means I mentioned fast radio burst. Fast radio burst was not only the closest such signals ever recorded near the Earth. It was also 3000 times brighter than any other magnetic radio signal detected till now. And the next topic of discussion is uh, Chapare virus. Scientists have now discovered another deadly virus known as the Chapare virus in Bolivia. Scientists have pointed out that the Chapare virus is much more difficult to catch than the coronavirus as it is not trans transmissible via the respiratory route. Instead, Chapare is spread only through direct contact with bodily fluids. The Chapare hemorrhagic fever is caused by the same arena virus family that is responsible for the illness such as the Ebola virus disease. So once again, Chapare virus, scientists have now discovered another deadly virus known as the Chapare virus in Bolivia. Scientists have pointed out that the Chapare virus is much more difficult to catch than the coronavirus as it is not transmissible via the respiratory route. Instead, Chapare spread only through direct contact with bodily fluids. The Chapare hemorrhagic uh, fever is caused by the same arena virus family that is responsible for illness such as the Ebola virus disease. Next topic of discussion is neutralizing antibodies. A new study in Pune has revealed that nearly 85% of the people who had been found infected with novel coronavirus in a sero survey 
conducted earlier had developed neutralizing antibodies in other words these people had developed immunity against the disease immunity comes from what are known as the neutralizing or protective antibodies so a new study in pune has revealed that nearly 85 percentage of people who had been found infected with novel coronavirus in a zero survey conducted earlier had developed neutralizing antibodies in other words this these people had developed immunity against the disease and what is neutralizing antibodies neutralizing antibodies like other antibodies that are created to fight the disease are nothing but proteins these are a small subset of the disease specific antibodies that are generated once an effect infection has uh, occurred the neutralizing antibodies become special because they have the ability to thwart the entry of the same virus inside the human bodies in the future the other antibodies help in fighting of the virus once in the infection has already happened so what is uh, neutralizing antibodies neutralizing antibodies like other antibodies that are created to fight the disease are nothing but proteins these are a small subset of the disease specific antibodies that are generated once an infection has occurred the neutralizing antibodies become special because they have the ability to thwart the entry of the same virus inside human bodies in the future the other antibodies help in fighting of the virus once the infection has already be, already happened so what is neutralizing antibodies i explained they are a small subset of the disease specific antibodies that are generated once an infected infection has occurred and the neutralizing antibody has special capacity because they have the ability to thwart the entry of the same virus inside the human bodies in the future so neutralizing antibody like other antibodies that are created to fight the disease are nothing but proteins so that's the point about so that's all about science and technology in this particular video keep an extra watch on the earlier analysis uh, video of science and technology and have an edge in the total preparation towards main and uh, preliminary examination and understand how upsc is framing beautiful question right from the current affairs of science and technology towards the prelims question and main question so have a great time and uh, meet you in the next video thank you